ربي صلي على محمد حبيبك الشافع المشفى السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We're honored, pleased, and grateful to Allah Jalla Jalalu to be welcoming a noble descendant of his beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that being Al-Habib Kadhim Saqqaf Allah preserve him and benefit us and the Muslims through him and this is the least that we can do to welcome him and show gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing him to visit us because that is one of the only things the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam requested of us Allah said speaking to his beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam قُلْ لَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ أَجْرًا إِلَّا الْمَوَدَّةَ فِي الْقُرْبَى Translation of the meaning say I do not ask you for it any reward save love of my relatives and that's one of the meanings love of the people of the prophetic house of this verse so we should love them for the sake of of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for our love for the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam and the way of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq radiyallahu ta'ala anhu wa ardahu was to honor the family of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam as Imam Bukhari narrates in his sahih from Sayyidina Abu Bakr as-Siddiq أُرْقُبُوا مُحَمَّدًا صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ فِي أَهْلِ بَيْتِهِ Translation of the meaning Watch Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم in the people of his house Meaning Be mindful of Respect And honor The Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Through the people of his house صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم And Allah knows best and the meaning of scholars, particularly from the family of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is a meaning of inseparable connection to the Book of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet وسلم, informed us that he was leaving Allah's book and leaving the people of his prophetic house and that the two of them would not separate until they, until they come to him sallallahu alaihi wasallam at his watering place so we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us to honor the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam through honoring the people of his house and that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to come with them to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam at his watering place another meaning of any scholar of the ummah of the prophet muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam visiting us in our homeland here in North America is a meaning of reception of the Quran from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. Wa sallam. The scholars of the Ummah of the Prophet are the heirs of the Prophets, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam wa sa said, Belghu anni walaw aya, convey from me even if just one verse. And Habib Kadam is someone with a very strong permission and a very high firm chain of transmission to his grandfather the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam so if anyone was to convey from the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam even just one verse of the Quran it would certainly be the likes of Habib Kadhim and may Allah give us to benefit from him and then the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam from his description was that if someone saw him suddenly they would be in awe of him and if someone kept his company, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, until he knew him, he would love him. And by Allah's permission, in the more than a decade that Allah has enabled me to spend with Habib Kadim and others from his family, the family of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that's the quality we've seen. So while people may feel awe and people may feel a great respect and reverence, we don't want people to remain in a state of awe or to be um, shy from benefiting from these men, from these descendants of the Prophet ﷺ. They're a treasure chest for the Ummah. They're a mercy for the Ummah. They're a ship of salvation 
like an Ark of Noah for the Ummah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu So receive them, honor them, love them, spend time with them, get to know them. And may Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala give us to benefit by them and from them by His mercy. And He is the most merciful of the merciful. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa alihi wa sallam wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.